Hey Sunrays! So I've hit a plateau and I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who has hit a plateau or may be experiencing a plateau, so let's talk about it. So if you're watching this, chances are you have started your own weight loss journey and depending on where you're at in that weight loss journey, you might have experienced your own plateaus or maybe you're experiencing your first plateau right now. Either way, you're in a great place because I'm gonna talk about what to do when you feel stuck and how to get that freaking scale to move. Okay, so I have to admit this is not my first plateau. A few months back, I realized that my weight wasn't really changing much anymore and I did the first thing I could think of to do. I panicked, but I only panicked for a second. I knew that I needed to come up with a plan and so I took a second to let my anxiety do its thing and then I got serious and I thought about what could be causing this and how to fix it. In all honesty, I don't quite remember exactly what the problem was. I just remember that it had something to do with my carbs, uh, as in I was eating too many carbs. So I got real strict again with what carbs I was putting in my body. So this means I focused on the carbs that you get from like fruits and veggies and so on and I started to really pay attention to and limit the carbs that you get from things like, I don't know, zero sugar coffee creamer. Yeah, I really love coffee. After doing all of that, it seemed to really do the trick. Within a matter of a couple of days, I was back on track with my weight loss. However, recently I've hit another snag. So quick reminder, back in May of 2022, I underwent the Ruin My Gastric Bypass. And so the following weight loss that I'm going to talk about is a bit accelerated, a lot accelerated. So don't expect to have the same results uh, unless you have had weight loss surgery as well. I have been losing about five pounds a week for quite a while, but recently I've realized that my weight loss has slowed to about one pound a week. And that kind of scares me a little bit just because I feel like I'm not close enough to my goal weight to be losing weight that slowly. I do understand though that you should expect fluctuations even when you've underwent any kind of weight loss surgery, but I'm freaking out because my surgeon expects me to be at my goal weight within about five weeks from now. And my goal weight is still about 20 pounds away uh, 20 to 25 pounds away. So yeah, um, one pound a week ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> um, so I really need to lose at least four pounds a week in order to get that goal weight hit by the time my surgeon expects me to, which is by the one year anniversary of my surgery. Now maybe you see why I'm freaking out, <laughs> um, but I have a plan. So let's talk about how I'm going to break this plateau and hit my goal weight by the one year anniversary of my surgery. So here's my four step plan to break this plateau. Step one is to get on a consistent sleeping schedule and actually stick with it. This will help me drink less coffee since I will be less tired throughout the day. And also sleep is incredibly important for weight loss, recovery from surgery, muscle gain, and really my overall health and wellness. Step two, I'm gonna get back to sticking to a strict schedule with my eating and meds. I have been struggling to remember to get in all of my meds. I mean, it's getting better, but I still have a lot of room to improve on it. And especially after having a, a surgery like weight loss surgery, getting all of your medicine in is extremely important. So I really need to work on this. With eating, I have a bad habit of not getting enough salt in on the day-to-day -day basis. And you may be wondering why that even matters. And you may even be thinking to yourself, wait a second, Quinn, I thought you were supposed to avoid sodium. Yeah, I did too. And then I avoided it too much. And all of a sudden my blood pressure started dipping like crazy. It turns out salt is a key component to staying hydrated, which also happens to be yet a, another incredibly important factor in weight loss. So basically without salt, the water you drink goes right through you instead of going to all the different places in your body that it actually needs to go. So step three is to actually follow the meal plan that I created. I have a customizable meal plan that I came up with with the help of my old nutritionist which by the way, I do plan on making a video all about this nutrition plan that my nutritionist and I came up with, but that's to come. 
anyway. <laughs> Basically, I can use it to plan out every meal that I have for a day or a few days or even a week at a time if I feel like it. I just haven't felt like it. However, I now realize that I need to get over myself here a bit and just do it. So I'm going to use my meal plan to meal prep for like a week at a time. That way, when I am neck deep in my homework and meetings throughout the week, I can just grab an already prepared meal and go. Otherwise, I end up skipping meals and that gets messy quick. And step four is to actually go to the gym when I say I'm going to go to the gym. I currently have a gym schedule where I plan to go to the gym every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Mondays are pool days, Wednesdays are leg days, Fridays are push days, Sundays are cardio days. Now, Sundays are kind of hit or miss for me because I don't really see them as of equal importance to the other days. But the other three days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, are pretty non-negotiable. Or at least they were before things got super crazy busy these last few weeks. By the way, I am super sorry again for my spotty posting. I am so working on it, I, I swear. So yeah, that is the game plan. I'm going to try to stick to all four of these schedules and hopefully the next time I talk to you guys, I will have broken my plateau. From the very beginning of my sharing with you guys this whole journey, I wanted to make sure that I was being transparent and honest with you from the get-go. So I really wanted to make sure to share this part of the journey, the weight loss plateauing, because it is a very natural part of the process. It is only natural for your weight loss to slow down a bit and even have a few plateaus as you continue to adjust to your new lifestyle. Also, as you get closer and closer to your goal weight, it makes total sense for your weight loss to slow down. So don't stress out too much about this because you're not alone. As long as you continue to do what your medical team tells you to do, you are totally fine. Okay, so that's it for today. And I wanted to thank you for watching and thank you so much for shining bright today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.